Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Sir, Steal someone else. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Bilhete, por favor. Certo. Pode entrar. Bilhete. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Olhar, acontece. 
aconteceu, só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara! A porra da minha irmãzinha! A gente se ama. Pronto, tá aí, tá dito. A gente se ama e já faz muito tempo. Eu achava que era meu melhor amigo. E você aí trançando com minha irmãzinha pelas minhas costas. Você devia estar feliz por nós. Vou cuidar dela direito. Você vai ver. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
Aquele cara tá maluco. Qual é o seu problema? Alguém chama a segurança! We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it, too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us, but what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous? Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic. And unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs. Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true.
I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics? Or hibernation? I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there wasn't one. Not for him. Not for us. Consciousness is a series of electrical impulses, and the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles as dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. 
It proved easy enough to enter. To leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know, of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! 